Hopefully there's the 96 and 02 Banshee. 02 is mine. Hopefully you guys already know that. But anyway, well they're both mine, but that one's actually like mine, not like not for sale mine. Anyway, here's the Banshee. Since I bought it, it came with these low profile front tires on it. The back ones are off a of blaster, but it came with those. And it came with those backs. And I like the ones with the ring on it so I could do my custom paint job on them. So I took those off a of blaster that I bought. I everything was all rusted out on the whole bike, everything. So I took everything apart, I wheeled everything that was like shot. Uh made it all look good, sanded it good, primed, painted it. Did the frame. The frame was all rusted out in the normal spots around where the bolts go and everything. I wire wheeled the whole entire frame. It took me like three hours. Nah, more like 45 minutes. And then I sanded it with like two, three hundred sandpaper. Got that nice and smooth. Painted that red. Everything that came off it black. And then just little accessories like the rear end. Front shocks I repainted. I think those are 400 EX shocks. I'm not sure. They don't really look like it. Could be Raptor shocks, so Raptor 660 shocks. It's possible. But she runs good. Got these headlights from a guy on eBay. I guess the lights are different because they have a gap in here. So that's that. Rebuilt the whole motor on it. Probably didn't even have to be rebuilt. The pistons and everything look good, but I like to just buy new rings since I'm already there. So I went through, put a new clutch, uh, all new gaskets and oil seals, new rings on the piston because the piston was brand new. It's 60 over. Rebuilt the carbs and cleaned them out. Throttle override system kit. New fuel petcock. Uh, plastics were all shot from sitting. So I, I, um, I razor bladed the back to make them look good. Then I washed them with soap and water and a sponge. Then oiled them up. That way nice, now they're nice and smooth. The front, these are off another Banshee that I bought. Not another Banshee, but I bought the front plastics. And um, they were already shiny, but they were... Still had the fenders on them, so I just cut the fenders off because they were in rough shape. And then, and then I got the race cut, put the stock handlebars back on, changed the grips on them, and then put these uh, put the rental bar pad on it. Everything else is pretty good on it. There's mine. Since I bought it, rebuilt the motor once. Then, the t then the um, one of the pins that aligned one of the crank bearings popped out and was beating on my piston. So I sent it out to Ken. Got two new mains on it. Um, <clears throat> new pistons. He boarded eighty over. Because it was already 40 over and he said he had to go more because the grooves were too deep. Then I did a full tear down on it and redid it black and yellow. And I just love it. Especially the rims. The way those came out, the way it matches and everything. It's got fly racing bars on it. I Pretty much everything that was broken on it, I pretty much bought it. I had a broken front brake. It was broken right here, so I bought a new one. Clutch lever, I just bought a full MSR. Everything that was broken. I mean, it had a broken um, exhaust mount, so I just got some aftermarket ones that someone... Took off a quad that they were parting at. I got them for like 10 bucks. But yeah, I'm just going to do cold starts of both. No chokes. Actually, I might have to choke mine because mine I still got to do some fine tuning on. Also, a lot of people are wondering how to tune a Banshee. It's basically just like tuning a regular quad except you're doing it on both cylinders. So when you turn one carb a little bit, turn the other one a little bit. And as the RPM picks up, it gets faster. That's how you know you're pretty much in tune. Just the same thing as any other motor. Choke doesn't hold itself out, so I have to do that. Pre-kick it. You know what? How about no choke on this one? Choke's closed. I also bought all new wiring for it because the wiring was all shot. Got a new kill switch, new thumb throttle because the other one was broken, new CDI. The coil and stator were still good, so the CDI was probably still good, but I had an extra one that I knew was good, so I just put that on. I gotta get some clamps for the boots. Shut that off now. I'll fire mine up. Mine, I'm probably gonna have to use a choke on it. I'll try without though for the first start, for for the first cold start in a little while. Show you guys the gas sign that I made up for it. Love my aftermarket seat. Got some new gas line. Didn't have to clamp it onto the petcock. Ran it down. Fuel injection hose, same shit. It clamped it onto one. Clamped it onto clamp two on there. Put one clamp down there and one clamp down there. I don't plan on having these carbs back off, so that's why I put clamps on it. Or else I probably would have been pissed. Because every once in a while, some quads, I just take my carbs off. 
almost all the time just to go through them if, if I have any problems. But mine's been running so good, I don't even have to. That one's pull out the choke and push it right back in. Not that that's probably going to do anything. I also repainted my cap, but I got to do it again because it got scratched up. Here we go. It never starts up first thing without the choke. Wow. And it's cold. I mean, it starts up and then it stalls right out because it's cold. Pipes are smoking like they should. It's jetted with 320s and 30 pilots. Start up this one. And then I'll leave them. And end the video. There you go, guys.